Hey guys, let's get more news from Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. 5 Trades the Lakers would accept for Austin Reeves The Los Angeles Lakers are apparently not including shooting guard Austin Reeves in the open market because they have faith in the 25-year-old who is posting 15.5 points, 4.0 rebounds, and 5.3 assists per game on 35.5% from 3 this season. Reeves is a capable scorer, shooter, and playmaker and we should start seeing an uptick in his play in the coming seasons. However, every player has a price, and if the Lakers can bring in an all-star player, Reeves could be heading out of Los Angeles. There are five trades the Lakers would accept if it means sending Reeves out of town, even if it might include resources such as the valuable 2029 first-round pick and other players. LeBron James and Anthony Davis are both all-stars this season and they need help to overcome their ninth seed right now and start boosting their record well over .500, 27-25. Starting with DeJount Murray, here are the five best trades for the Lakers involving Austin Reeves right now. The first deal involves DeJount Murray, an elite two-way guard who is having a strong season for the Atlanta Hawks, despite being involved in trade rumors consistently. Acquiring DeJount Murray presents a pragmatic and potentially impactful opportunity for the Los Angeles Lakers. Murray's impressive production during the 2023-24 season underscores his versatility, averaging 21.4 points and 5.2 assists per game, along with a commendable 37% shooting from three-point range. Notably, his development since his tenure with the San Antonio Spurs has been significant, enhancing his value as a player. Examining fit, Murray's skill set appears seamlessly aligned with those of LeBron James and Anthony Davis. His adept playmaking could alleviate ball handling responsibilities from James, allowing him to focus on scoring and facilitating offense. Furthermore, Murray's defensive prowess would complement Davis's capabilities, bolstering the Lakers' defensive efforts. It's noteworthy that Murray led the NBA in steals during the 2021 22 season. 2.0 SPG, and was recognized with an all-defensive second-team selection in 2017-18. Considering a potential trade scenario involving Austin Reeves and the 2029 first-round pick, supplemented by any requisite additions, appears reasonable. Previous reports have indicated the Lakers' interest in Murray, and executing such a trade could solidify a formidable trio in Los Angeles, thereby furnishing the team with a versatile and dynamic backcourt presence. Another major deal for the Lakers involves going all-in this season by trading for 34-year-old DeMar DeRozan, who is scoring the ball well and could be the missing piece for a big three. Although adding DeMar DeRozan to the Los Angeles Lakers would unquestionably boost their offensive potency, current circumstances significantly diminish the likelihood of such a trade. The Chicago Bulls have vehemently expressed their commitment to retaining DeRozan, viewing him as a linchpin of their roster even surpassing Zach Levine in importance. DeRozan's impressive performance throughout the 2023-24 season, averaging 22.0 points, 4.1 rebounds, and 5.4 assists per game, underscores his enduring effectiveness as both a scorer and playmaker. His adeptness in isolation, coupled with a commendable shooting efficiency of 46.5% from the field and 84.6% from the stripe, undoubtedly presents an exciting offensive proposition for the Lakers, positioning him as a formidable third option behind James and Davis. The Lakers wanted to acquire DeRozan in the past and it could be their time to get the deal over the line. Even if DeRozan is close to 35 years old, he can still average at least 20 points per game as a third option and has the athleticism and experience to make the difference in the playoffs with the second half of the season on the way very soon. Jeremy Grant has been one of the most consistent players in the NBA for the past few seasons as he gets it done on both ends of the court. The Lakers could make a deal for the 29-year-old swingman this season. In a trade scenario that seems realistic considering Portland's desire to rebuild, the Los Angeles Lakers aim to solidify a decent big three by acquiring Jeremy Grant from the Portland Trailblazers. The proposed trade involves sending Austin Reeves and Rue Hakimura to the Trailblazers and the allure of adding a versatile two-way wing player like Jeremy Grant could significantly transform the Lakers. Grant's skill set as an experienced two-way player brings a valuable combination of offensive and defensive capabilities. 
His ability to spot up for threes, take players off the dribble, and defend multiple positions would address specific needs for the Lakers. With the Lakers ranking 18th in offense and 16th in defense, Grant's presence could provide a substantial boost on both ends of the court. The veteran swingman is posting 21.3 points, 3.7 rebounds, 0.7 steals, and 0.7 blocks per game on 40.3% from three. Grant would actually be a perfect system player for the Lakers, and they can also hold on to D'Angelo Russell, who is having an improved season offensively and a lineup featuring him, James, Davis, and Grant could be very difficult to handle on both ends of the court. With so much drama surrounding the rebuilding Detroit Pistons, it might be time for veteran Boyan Bogdanovich to save himself and compete for a championship alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis. With the Detroit Pistons struggling this season with a ridiculous 27-game losing streak, it might be time for them to start trading some players and making room for youngsters to come into their own. One player that sticks out is Boyan Bogdanovich, the 34-year-old forward who is posting 20.2 points per game on 41.5% from three. No doubt, despite his age, Bogdanovich would be an excellent pickup for the Lakers. Known for his scoring ability and three-point shooting, he would bring a valuable perimeter threat to the Lakers. His shooting prowess could help space the floor for LeBron James and Anthony Davis, providing additional offensive options and preventing opposing defenses from collapsing on the Lakers' stars. Bogdanovich's ability to stretch the floor and create his own shot could be a valuable asset in various offensive sets. Another deal that could be on the table involves Zach Levine, a player who will be a perfect member of a big three next season as he is currently shut down for the season due to foot surgery. Acquiring Zach Levine could be a realistic and impactful move for the Los Angeles Lakers, although it would require a waiting game until next season because the shooting guard is apparently out for the season. Could he become available for the playoffs if he is traded? Perhaps. Levine's 2023-24 season statistics, though slightly down, still showcase his scoring ability, averaging 19.5 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 3.9 assists per game on only 34.9% from three. This is a far cry from last season's averages of 24.8 points on 37.5% from three. In terms of fit, Levine's scoring prowess provides the Lakers with an additional offensive weapon. His ability to create his own shot and stretch the floor with his shooting would alleviate pressure on LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Levine's versatility in scoring, combined with his athleticism, could significantly enhance the Lakers' offensive capabilities on the break and in the half-court. The Lakers rank 14th in offense and their only hope to become a contender is to take their offense into the top 10. A proposed trade package involving Austin Reeves, D'Angelo Russell, and a 2029 first-round pick appears reasonable, especially if the Bulls are considering a roster overhaul. Levine's potential move to the Lakers could form a dynamic big three, bringing together three high-caliber scorers with different skill sets that work together. Levine is also 28 years old with two all-star teams to his name so he can be a long-term partner for Davis once James decides to hang it up. And you fan, what do you think of the Zach Levine situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.